What's happening in your bottle was the light stuff, air, was trying to get up the neck of the bottle. Heavy stuff, water, was trying to get down the neck of the bottle. Just on that table, so And they got in each other's way and caused what? Turbulent flow. They get in each other's way is what you tell the kids not to turbulent flow. But it doesn't empty as fast. What I did with my bottle was what? Use Newton's first law, which says that water's trying to go in a straight line, but it can't, so it gets pushed up against the sides. And you, you know, if you go around a car in a bend to relate it to what the kids have done, you feel as though you're being thrown out, you're not really the car's cut in front of you, but that's what's going on. And I got a different version of this I wanted to show you. See, the water gurgling in the neck of the bottle, if you think about it, is kind of like what happens when you light something on fire. Which, of course, is what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> there we go. Light stuff, hot air, is trying to rise. Heavy stuff, cold air, is trying to sink. They're getting in each other's way. That's the equivalent of the water curling in the neck of the bottle. Now, what did I do? Put a spin on the bottle, and what happened? Heavy stuff went to the outside. Let's see if we can get the heavy stuff to go to the outside. There we go. And for once, I got an audience in front of me that's going to get another joke. Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd be amazed how many times that gets to <laughs> Anyway, let's put that out.